Hey everybody, I'm drooling on myself. Welcome to Good Dictionaries Would Help. That was from Landshark503 on Patreon. Thank you to everybody who's a member of the 420 Club at uh, patreon.com slash getting Doug. Doug plugs. I will be in Miami, Florida this Saturday at the Improv doing a Doug Loves Movies taping at 420. And then I'll be in Los Angeles doing Doug Loves Movies at the UCB Theater on Franklin Avenue on Tuesday, November 26th. And on December 1st, I'm going to New York City, Gramercy Theater. It's an annual event, the Doug Loves Movies 12 Guests of Christmas. 12 or more guests on stage battling out for movie trivia supremacy. For all of my dates and deets, go to DougLovesMovies.com and enjoy the show. I'm ready for <laughs> Last off. <laughs> Here we are live in the basement in Southern California. Yes. yes. Two old beasts, two of my favorites, <laughs> Vanessa Gonzalez and Jessamay Peluso, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Ah. Yeah. Right? That's Nothing yeah. like a big frosty mug of water. It's fresh. There's nothing like it. Minutes before just inhaling tons of smoke. It's good, it's good balance. Into your system. I'm excited. Yeah, no, water is, uh, water is good food. <laughs> water is good food. Water is an important food. Now, just a May, we were discussing this. Yeah. It's my little tiny rifle, which it's you called it. It's a tiny rifle lighter. Shotgun. Shotgun. Yeah. I got it from oh, my restaurant. I guess rest it stop. is a shotgun, that's right. Yeah, it's a double Two barrel. Two barrels. Yeah. Yeah, but the butane and it's a leaks. lighter. Where does it? Oh, oh, and, it leaks. And my alarm is. Oh, uh, did you need to wake up? You have it's to. Not making it, it's not loud. <laughs> That's how you miss meetings. Oh, and when you try to make it louder, it just turns the snooze function on. But anyway, <laughs> it is. It is 19 minutes after the hour, which means it's almost 4:20 somewhere. 20 somewhere. And uh, what? So where does the flame come out of the here? Yeah, yeah. try so it got, like that. No. Oh, oh it works. Crazy. it does work. Yeah, I added a little juice from this. But oh, uh, cool. has the TSA asked you anything about this? Nice. No, they haven't really. But you know, I think that's just the advantage of it's having very... you know your boobs out when you go through TSA. They're oh. not focused. Oh, you on just it. take them out entirely, yeah, just, and they don't look in your I bags at all. I flash my nipples <laughs> so that I can get through with my weed. <laughs> Wow. Bring guns and drugs through. It's yeah. fine. I bring my tiny nipples so I can get my tiny rifle through. <laughs> <laughs> That's good that they're tiny. Mine are medium. They are? Yeah, brown. Medium brown nipples. Hey, girl, yes. Represent. <laughs> you represent a whole nation. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What color are your nips? This is what happens when you have all ladies on the show. <laughs> if there were a couple dudes sitting here, yeah, we wouldn't nipples. be talking about such terrible, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> This is a religious show. Terrible yes. topics. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about it, nipples provide food for babies. So, oh, yeah. You and, know? Uh, and then as you get older, you, you, you get some cheese nips. <laughs> and they're, they're a delicious snack. You never heard of cheese nips? Oh, I thought they turned I'm not accusing anyone of having cheese nips. Now, I'm like, now I want to question people's mothers. What are they doing with their nips and cheese? <laughs> That's a little too close. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the sativa we have today is called Backseat Jack, which, okay. Backseat Jack. <laughs> that sounds like a person I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> sounds like my first sexual experience. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, then, uh, and then the indica is called Skittles. Skittles with two Zs. Z Skittles? Uh, a Z Skittles. at the beginning and the end. Skittles. That's Skittles. clever. Yeah. It's very difficult to say. Plus, we probably won't be smoking it, because I don't I don't know about you two, but it's a little early for Indica for me today. Yeah. Yeah, unless there was like a couch or pizza and Netflix promised right after this. I don't know if I could do it. I'd be down. A do couch and pizza? And Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> what about a couch made out of pizza and you could just eat your way to sleep? <laughs> 
I first I thought you These said unless it's a count your pizza <laughs> Netflix. I was you like, should are you always using words right. <laughs> count your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta count it. You Eight can't slices trust every no. time. <laughs> What's up, bro? There's only seven slices this time. <laughs> you gotta missing. have enough. Oh no, that's how we make them. <laughs> yeah, we make them with a slice missing. It means prosperity. We're actually we're doing our part for the environment. We're doing one less slice, everybody. We're still handing out straws. We're, we're part we're of the <laughs> driver gets a slice program. <laughs> they should. Every time a driver has to deliver a pizza, that they get to have one nice. slice. Absolutely. I would I sign up for that. that. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. drivers, should, especially if they're going to like bad neighborhoods, they should at least get dinner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so yeah, smoke? let's smoke. Oh, okay. Now we're late. We I missed know. the oh, we missed oh, we we're missed missed the morning after. Okay. We're late. So Hurry. People are, people Get in there. Smoke it all. <laughs> smoke it all. Yeah, I've got a really interesting thing I'm going to try to smoke a little later in the show. What is it? I'll give you a hint. The holidays are coming up. A turkey. Oh. That's it. I'm going to smoke gonna a turkey. <laughs> Santa Claus blend. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is creepy. This is creepy as hell. Yeah, that's a weird oh, eyeball no. pipe. It's got a the I pipe's like got that. an interesting <laughs> texture to it in general. It does. This, I grabbed it yeah. just because I, I wanted something and not you know. This is a little buggy. Oh, is that you? That's cute. Oh, oh god. Shit. Oh god. <laughs> It looks like and that's every... me when I bowl, knocking down pins. <laughs> this looks like every cab driver in New York City. <laughs> <coughs> Smells like it too. <laughs> Salini just smelled it. I said, that smells bad. Oh, I'll check it out. Why do people do that? People always do shit when it smells bad. They're like, here, smell this. You're like, why do I want? No. I don't want to smell that. No. You, you gotta are smelling all this. So. <laughs> Chicks, I feel like chicks, I don't know about you, but like when I go shopping, I touch everything and I smell everything. I always sniff The clothes? Things. Yeah, even t-shirts. Uh, why? <laughs> That's what I'm with you. How often do you wash your hands after you I, cruise through a store and touch everything? Every time. I wash my hands yeah. a little, probably a too much. Uh, yeah. Too much? Yeah. You're gonna like wash your skin off? <laughs> not, not preferably. <laughs> do you wash your hands a lot? Uh, yeah, all? yeah, yeah. Decent amount. No, I I use this sanitizer mm, too. Same. Like. You look like you might not wash them as much as like a regular person. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you have dirty hands. Yeah, right? <laughs> From what? I don't do. I've never done a Let day's work in my life. I got the softest man hands you'll ever feel. I, I think you're gonna smell his hands. Oh no, he's got nice fingernails. There's yeah. no dirt. I mean, they're you know they're That's nice. That's a long one. You might want to trim yeah, that gotta, one. That's a little long. You gotta go to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do that. Yeah. I can't stand it. Like when a dude has dirt under his nails, what are you doing? They're working. I mean, that's they're doing work. things. I get that. Dirt under there. But you can't put your fingers. You don't get that from just sitting at home working the remote. That's true. It's hard yeah. work, and I appreciate the hard work. But you can't put your fingers Mine's in a no-no place. Nail polish, not dirt. Don't judge. <laughs> you just I'm have so, it just at the tip. I know that's nail polish. <laughs> I, I don't do work. <laughs> you do too. No, not really. I mean, it's fun work. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, work. yeah. Oh, this this yeah. is work. Yeah, work. I forgot. Holding a dirty microphone. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, they're so gross. They're so, some of them smell like open wounds. Yeah. Okay, you've oh, got to stop smelling up. things. I never <laughs> take the microphone out. Before I start speaking, yeah. let me just give this a quick. <laughs> it's so close to all your senses. Well, I guess, but I, I, yeah, I just talk into it. I don't, yeah, I don't I inhale too much. Dis yeah. yeah, maybe I'm too close to my mic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I get the flu every other week. Yeah, you've never like and held I do a mic. those gross. I do those gross. You know where you cup it and do sound effects yeah, and stuff yeah, I like do that. that's not. That's disgusting. But don't you ever get a whiff of so like the person before in the mic? I don't think yeah, so. I've done that. You know what I'm saying? Like breath. I'm gonna throw up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's true. Like yeah. when that happens, I'm always like, God help me. <laughs> and I'm not even saying jokes anymore. I think I'm just staring at the audience like. It's I think smell. I just don't sniff it. Do you ever sniff the microphone, Taylor? No, I go out of my way not to. He goes okay. out of his way well, not I'm to. Weird. He puts the microphone as far away from his face as possible. Girls smell things. <laughs> of course, I say this in last week at the at my shows. I farted into the mic, not for the comedy club, but for the staff afterwards. So I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> I just gave the next comic pink eye. I can you? Yeah, I mean, I just I lose it when I accidentally touch my mouth to it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. It's so gross. So nasty. It's, it's so what, gross. what about when your tongue hits the tip of the mic? Oh, Ooh, the worst. What the are worst. you doing? I don't know. I don't understand. She's doing the ice cream cone bit. <laughs> Classic. Here she goes, going into the ice cream cone. Oh, God. Oh, man. I just snorted on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they should sh disinfect them, like, after shows, put them in a tub of bleach. I didn't Sorry. mean to burn your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy clubs can barely keep microphones so that they actually work. <laughs> you I know, know. <laughs> like actually cleaning them would be God, a miracle. That would be. They're dented also. They're well, that's, dented. That's from people like me. I love dropping the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> they smell. The audience laughs at anything I say. I dropped the mic, so by the end of my show, it's dented as fuck. <laughs> it's just like one sheet of metal. <laughs> it's an hour of you just dropping the mic over and over. He was again. great. Yeah, he did yeah. a bunch of jokes. He just dropped the mic fifty-seven times. They stopped laughing by the end because it, <laughs> it seemed like they didn't like the, that noise anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the audience oh, figured it out. If we stop laughing, he'll stop dropping the mic. We're all gonna laugh at you. It's. What is that from? Is that Adam That's Sandler? That's Adam Sandler, yeah. yeah. But he got it from somewhere else. He like did. Somebody else said it. He yeah. was what? imitating it, yeah. I think. Oh. I think the mom says it in <laughs> Boogie think... Nights. The mom in Boogie Nights says uh, they're all going to laugh. Is that the movie where Mark Wahlberg shows his dong? Uh-huh. Is it his real dong, or is it a prosthetic, or like a movie dong? It's a movie dong, but, you know, he would leave, he would have you believe his was pretty much the same. almost there. Was he portraying Dirk Diggler? I don't know who that oh, is. Oh, that, my alarm's going off again because of, of the snooze <laughs> incident is earlier. Is it your Dirk Diggler <laughs> alarm right on cue? <laughs> someone mentions Dirk Diggler, my phone rings. Every time someone mentions Dirk it Diggler. It means his penis is burning. <laughs> is your alarm going to go off the whole show? <laughs> Yeah, why is your... Oh, it's for the show. You're being organized. Oh. I was, but I didn't do it right. I'm gonna... Can I dump this in your ash hole? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's their Pokeball slogan. I know. Keep your ash hole clean. they chose on purpose. Yeah. It's a great... Keep your ash hole clean. It's a great I don't great care slogan. for it. You don't like it? <laughs> why not? Yeah, I don't want to talk humor? about my ash hole. Well, at least you can keep it clean. This won't clean your ash hole, but it'll clean most people's ash holes. Yeah, and you yeah. can put butts into it, too. I did, because I didn't know where to put... <laughs> I got it. I almost didn't get it, and then I got it. I, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so. I really like your lip color. Oh, thanks. It looks really pretty on you. Mm. Yours too, your, your skin and lip color. <laughs> Would you, have you ever dressed in drag? <laughs> yeah, I've been in show business for a minute. So, have you? So I've had to on occasion. No, for real. Yeah, I did. A, there was oh, a I'd sketch comedy see. show on yeah. Comedy Central I did once where I had to wear a, a dress and had big fake boobs and. How'd it feel? Big hair and big lips. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> did you play with your I own boobs? I didn't mind it. I don't make a good. I don't. I'm not an attractive woman. I mean, I don't. You know, I can't pull it off. But, uh, <laughs> but it was still fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> did you keep the beard? Did you shave it? Uh. I think I was clean shaven for that. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have to look that up. Because it was a yeah. sketch show where I played a bunch of different parts, so I had, yeah. to, be, I had to be clean shaven. Uh, that's fun. It was a quick change sketch show. It was, all, it was live. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Created by Joel, Joel Hodgson of Mystery Science Theater fame. Whoa. It's his show that didn't become a massive success. Oh, man, that oh. sounds like a lot of fun, but it also a lot of It was super fun. It was called The TV Wheel, and the, the sets moved. But the camera didn't. The camera stayed in one spot, and the set, and it would, rotate. set would rotate in. Wow. So it was this big wheel we all were running around That on, must have been a lot of fucking on. fun. It was crazy. Yeah. Who else was on that wheel? You can watch it in its entirety on YouTube, I think. Um, TV Wheel. It had two different names, because there was a name Joel gave it, and then the name they called it when they put it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the lovely part of Hollywood. <laughs> like, oh, we, we appreciate your dream. We're going to put ours on it. Yeah, we, right. got, a we, got, a, we got a different name for this. You didn't describe your own thing right. Yeah. <laughs> you know that thing you slept, you bled and slept for? Thought no, about no, no. for years. We're yeah. going to throw it away. Yeah, you, you lost time with your family. Right. Well, we're going to just change the name and everything else. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. We're going to do it our way. All right, this one's done, though. You want some of this? Yeah. Get what in is there. It? It's a, uh, what it's is it? It's from our friends at Lowell. It's from our friends at Lowell. Love the new uh, Lowell Cafe here Ooh, in can town. Can see that box? Yeah, they, I love, the Lowell Cafe is fun. 
These are Yo, fun. Yo, their grilled cheese is delicious. It is? It's Ooh. delicious. We'll get that next time. I, I've this only thing. tried a few items because we've only been there twice. Oh. But, um, uh, you know, that gravity bong. Yeah, I mean, the whole place is wild. Mm. But it's like, I like that they actually put thought into the culinary aspect. It's not just like Doritos. You know, it's like real food. It's delicious meals. The last time, well, when I met you, you were talking about a chicken sandwich. I'm always talking about <laughs> I forgot. You were like, you gotta have this the chicken. The Baja yeah, Fresh that's Chicken Torto. That's all you, that's all yeah, you would one. talk about. The, the Baja Fresh Chicken Torto. I was like, I hope I don't that's meet her That's how I remembered again. you. It, it's so good, and they took it away. What? <laughs> I never got to try it. I can't. It's too emotional. That's fucked up. It was one of the most delicious sandwiches. I'm really upset about it. Do you like? Are you on an emotional roller coaster when it comes to the McRib at McDonald's? <laughs> I don't. I don't make eat the way it, the way it comes and goes. Everyone is on a very emotional. I don't think you coaster. could handle it. I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to, especially with the whole society and all of us like being on a roller coaster together. I couldn't. Nope. Okay. Oh, we're talking about society now. <laughs> well, McRibs. Society. Oh, okay. okay, that's fine. All right. Well, we will be back. Society crying for a sandwich. <laughs> We'll be back with more discussion of society. And nipples. And nipples. <laughs> with these four after this. Hey, everybody. Have you heard about our new show, Doing Doug with Dabs? It's me, Alicia, and Taylor hanging out and doing dabs after tapings of some of the regular shows. Sometimes we'll invite a guest. Sometimes it'll just be us. The show drops a couple times a month and is exclusive to members of our 420 Club on Patreon. Want to unwind with us after getting Doug with High? Head over to patreon.com slash gettingdug and sign up today. It supports this show and in return, and we'll send you a signed blue card, read your name during one of the shows, and you'll get early access to our pre-taped episodes. Pretty great. Check out patreon.com slash gettingdug to join today. Hello. Oh. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> and we're and we were joined by Alicia, and uh, just if you're joining us, I'll recap that <clears throat> Vanessa Gonzalez oh, and Jessime Peluso are here. There's a lady over there eating a banana. Yeah, everything's, she peeled that banana. Hey, everything's lady. happening today in this basement. She peeled it erotically. <laughs> 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 Not and, normal. Um, and I got a gift from Grav Labs. Sent me a, a weed menorah. Wow. Yeah. Looks like a submarine. Uh, yeah, that's intense. <laughs> it's cool. Fun. It's really nice. Marijuana. Nice. Uh, <laughs> good job. I did solid on that. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you uh, on that. Yeah, it's for celebrating eight cannabis nights. And um, I love it. Already. I think it's also kind of a challenge. Yeah. yeah how do you, do right? you need help? Because you can't lift all those bowls at I'm once. Thinking, I think it would be fun to try to, to try to just do them all. Do you do one by one? Yeah. Or well, do you do Alicia them all? was saying, and I agree, that like on the first day of Hanukkah, you just do the first one. Oh, the second. That makes but sense. But we loaded them all just for dramatic purposes. Yeah, and also right. who wants to wait that? Many days to, right. get to, <laughs> to get to the last one. Whoa! Oh! I think you should like from the back to the front. Does uh, that make a difference? Although I can't. There's no way I could just keep inhaling for eight lighting eight times. I was, gonna say, eight times. I was just should. gonna save like an Olympic athlete's <laughs> lung capacity. Oh, you know what? I want like an eight. You got to plug. Lighter. You got to plug this one. You got to plug them as you go because it, it ends up being a carb if oh. you take but it if out. But if you don't take it out, do you need to take it out? I don't think so. Yeah. What oh, if you light you them all? One then out. it also seems wasteful to light e all of what these. What if we light all of these and you just pull? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. Okay. okay, ready? I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. My hand burns. I'm definitely burning my own hand. Oh. Ow. Ow. You can see. It tilted. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Get the gun. Can you oh just my God. shoot them all lit? Wait, what is that? Gun. I've never even seen that it's on the table. Gun. Oh, it's a gun lighter. <laughs> Does this work? Shoot him all in. That would be badass. Get the gun. 
Oh, you're gonna be. We're real. gonna need a bigger um, gun. Right. You're for sure gonna be a fun uncle after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should mention. An uncle. We should mention that the. Uh, <laughs> One of the strains we have today is from a company called Fun Uncle. That drawing on the bag just so puts it over. Like, that's someone's idea of a fun uncle yeah. is that yeah. image. I mean, my nieces may enjoy me, but I would never refer to myself as a fun uncle. Yeah, that's something you should be called. And also, this guy looks like he borrows money all the time. Yeah. Yeah, the drawing is not... The drawing is... <laughs> Uncle's like, oh, I'm a nice guy kind of thing. Like, yeah. if you're calling yourself the fun uncle, you're probably not the fun uncle. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not something you should just self give. He has lumps on his chest. He does. You should get those checked. That's why like he's the fun uncle. Right. <laughs> those are his boobs. Oh. You mean his chest hair? Or he has oh, his hair. His <laughs> chest hair. It just looks he's like, like a hair lump. Of... He's got melanoma. Yeah. I was like, he's just very lumpy on the chest. <laughs> it kind of, yeah, it kind of looks like a Mike Judge character. Uh, it yeah, does it look does. like a Mike Judge character. Yeah. Absolutely. The fun uncle. Don't go on like a jet a, ski I'm with him. The fun uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go to his house after school. I like that you were going to flip it over so we didn't have to look at it. <laughs> it was like, all right. <laughs> Put fun uncle face down. Yeah, we don't need him looking at us. Put fun, fun uncle ass up. Face down. That's his closer. Fun uncle goes face down. Hey, where'd all the lighters go? Oh, not the shotgun. Yeah, the, not the shotgun. Yeah. I want to sit in the driver's seat. I can't believe I've never seen the gun before. Or is it new? I, I brought it. it. Oh, I got you it brought from it. Rest up. Isn't it fun? Yeah. Oh, I missed the beginning of the show. Did we oh, yeah. talk about this? <laughs> I was late today. <laughs> I don't know if this is, I think that one's yours, Doggy Doug. How's that going? I'm not finding a what are the way reviews? to do this. I'm not finding the proper. Yeah, I wonder, what, there's got to be just a, pull one? Too many weed products don't have instructions in the box. Because mm. <laughs> by the like, time they made it, they're like, fuck, how do we do this? Yeah, uh, it here's out. a weed menorah. Good luck. <laughs> 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 That's the instructions. Maybe by the Try eighth day it. you figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. It takes eight days of practice. <laughs> I don't know the best way to uh, you keep to changing. take advantage of it. <laughs> Which water is yours? <laughs> <laughs> she switched those cups like three times now. Sorry, I'm doing a magic act. <laughs> That's yours. This one's mine. What yeah. is that? It tastes like medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a delicious. Um, Coconut water. Oh, that's why it has a weird taste. Oh. It's called Blue Monkey. But it's like the only good coconut water. It also sounds like I what the it. fun uncle says he has in his. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants coconut a visit water? from the Blue Monkey in my pants? <laughs> I thought he says he has coconut water in his pants. <laughs> I thought you meant coconut water too. I'm like, I don't like I that like, at all. What? <laughs> that's scarier. That is a lot <laughs> scarier. <laughs> He's in my pants and he likes to dance. That <laughs> 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 oh, looks like a makeup man. jar. That'd be a fun oh. Jeopardy category, things a creep would say. <laughs> <laughs> what is? He's in my pants and he likes to dance. <laughs> I mean, that would for sure be on Family Feud because that show gets fucked sometimes. Oh, I can't yeah. Believe they how really, it they rock it yeah. out. Like every version of it, too, not even today's version. You watch like decades ago, yeah. it's still filthy. That oh, one yeah. where the guy's like, name a place you and your husband have had sex. Like a weird place and oh, she Oh, that wrote, was Newlywed Game. Oh, that's right. Remember uh, Newlywed Game? She put the what butt. She, she said the butt. <laughs> <laughs> His or hers, though? It was her butt. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the, uh, that's the, the infamous question. one that everybody talks about that, like, they saw it on TV, but it never, it happened, but it never, never aired. aired. Yeah. Mm. Um. But people still have a, a fun uncle who saw it. <laughs> it's his favorite episode. Am I the fun uncle? Yeah. Oh, you are. Damn it. You're always talking about that newlywed game. I mean, it pulls really well when you light it from the single. Yeah, each one, you can hit yeah, each one pretty cool. nicely. It hits really nicely. So I guess, I just don't know. Yeah, I just don't see a point other than just the, the, the raw the spectacle novelty. of it. It seems like a cool thing to take to like a school and show kids. <laughs> like science. Right? Oh my Are god! So I am quitting comedy and become a science teacher. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what they I may have killed Jesus, but they also came up with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
So quid pro quo. <laughs> quid pro quo. Seriously though, it's a total quid pro quo. <laughs> <clears throat> quid pro quo. <laughs> I didn't call you a crow. You that was literally all I heard while I was getting my makeup today was you two yelling about crows, and I loved it. I called I her a crow. I thought she was like, you're a total like, crow. She was like, you called me a crow. I was like, no, I didn't. You're a pro. I may or may not have hotboxed on the way over here. Oh, OK. What's going on Where'd over there, go? Yeah, he's really went into his own world with it. I was really playing some songs over here. <laughs> hey, Kenny G, what's happening? I was like, did he get mad? Is he mad? <laughs> he turned away from he, turned away. he got embarrassed. Oh, he's embarrassed. Are you in the corner? <laughs> he can't figure out how to light it. The strains should also <laughs> replicate what it's like over the eight days because you don't really get great gifts every day. Look at him. Like the weed should get stronger each night? Yeah, oh, the last one should be nice. really strong. The yeah. first one should just be like socks. <laughs> socks. <laughs> cut up socks. <laughs> you know, like a weed strain called socks. Oh. Would be, you'd be like, oh, that's not going to be great. Well, right. like a C O C K. You could have fun with the spelling socks. if you want. Yeah. Wait, there has to be a company care. that does like like weed advent care calendars, right? There like every day be. you have like a different strain oh, yeah. or like different concentrate because that'd be so advent fun. Calendars. The whole Somebody month in December, you smoke something one. different. That's that's a different like idea. a different joint every day. I want a weed yeah. advent oh. calendar. Okay, yeah, let's go into business. Too. Next year, ladies. <laughs> and then one of the windows you open, and it's one nipple. Just for fun. <laughs> it's one, and one it's cheese nipple. Just <laughs> it's Doug's nipple. It's very exclusive. We're only sending two out <laughs> to the entire world. Good math. Just two. Good math. <laughs> I could for a math. Oh god. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Now this is reminding me of the Titanic. <laughs> Got a very boat like. Uh, it does. It's very vibe submarine. It. it reminds me of the Beatles. Oh, I am. It's a trip, man. And it's what's pretty. going on with the. Do, 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 do. It is weird that they got different. Feels heights. like you should play it. It does yeah. feel, yeah. <laughs> it's a trumpet. It's, it's very it, multifaceted. It used to belong to Miles Davis. <laughs> very multifaceted <laughs> submarine ship. Yeah. It looks like it'd be fun to smash. I like everything about it except oh. its complete impracticability. Yeah. Is that a word, impracticability? I think you made it. sounded really good. You shouldn't even have asked because <laughs> I, I was like, absolutely. It's total impracticalness. I flowed with it. <laughs> the moment it's, you questioned it, I doubted it. It's 100% <laughs> impracticality. Yeah, it seems like it would break easy, though. <laughs> I'm so oh, worried yeah, about Oh, yeah, I can't stems. wait to break it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a roof that this is going to fly <laughs> off of. Wouldn't that be fun? It would look so cool. Yeah. It would. But that would probably be... It'd probably be insulting to stoners and Jews. I mean, <laughs> life is short. Can we stop getting to offended? To destroy this beautiful item, mm -hmm. just just to see it. The most beautiful things come to from see destruction. see it fly into pieces. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> You're like, well, what would you do if I just? I'm just excited. <laughs> I don't know. I bleed is what that I do. That would be <laughs> awesome. Just smash I'm it the right. Fun smash uncle. it right in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> What would Fun Uncle do right now? Oh my God! Well, there's a gavel. <laughs> <laughs> there's a gavel and a six-pack of Miller Lite. Yeah, <laughs> but this is uh, this is just it's great to have. Like it's gonna be the holidays for the rest of the year now. Weird! I can't believe so that. So I'm gonna just be hitting this thing like crazy for the rest of the. Maybe I was you should say do one season. Of the day. We don't really do this show in seasons. Do but. they have a Thanksgiving one where it's just like a turkey and you? That'd be cool. And the feathers. Well, we do have like a duck. Like this duck, but a turkey oh, one? Yeah. That'd yeah, be so that cute. Would be That'd be cute. really cute. Come on, peacemaker. <laughs> We're not going to eat you, duck. Do guys think worried. things are as cute as girls do? Like baby Yoda. Because guys are not finding Baby Yoda quite as cute as the women, and it's stressing oh, me out. Cute. Baby yeah, Yoda's the Baby cute. Yoda fever is real. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, he's super. He's like, uh, what's his name from Gremlins? Mm -mm. Oh, Gizmo. He's very Gizmo-like. You know what's something that I was thinking about that is a really weird thought? Like, you know, we can only you know Hitler. That. He, yes, Hitler. <laughs> like he farted. I don't know if this. You shouldn't be talking to me about <laughs> Hitler. Who farted? While Hitler him farted. Him. And he like took naps and he slept. Isn't it weird to think of like somebody so terrible be so vulnerable? Like, can you imagine Hitler? Like, but did he? When you say he farted, you you heard stories or? Do you really <laughs> feel vulnerable when you fart? Yeah, are well, you, you know what I mean? Just like, assuming as I a human being. I think he only power farted. I think he used it as a power move right. all the time. I think, 
I just think it's funny uh, to imagine somebody who caused so much terrible things in history. Probably fart. the first time he yelled uh, Zig Heil was just to cover a fart. Zig Heil. Stomping his foot. That's a great way to cover up a fart. Stomp your foot. <laughs> For him just like napping or sleeping in a fetal position, I don't know why it made me like it made me lose my mind and laugh to think about someone so powerful be so gross and weak. I see. Yeah. I just I just didn't like you know yeah. I, he, <laughs> he strikes me as someone who wouldn't wouldn't have shame about farting. Yeah. Like he would almost like you know waft it around the room and say everybody <laughs> enjoy oh, this. Yeah. No, exactly. I think his were always a power move. Yeah, power move. I think puff. that's a real thing. Yep. Yep, that's what they call it. Trump them. would be embarrassed by farting, because it's because he's more of a like a schoolyard level, you know, at, at yeah. Hitler's level, no one could say you farted. Yeah, and get, they'd be dead. <laughs> right, but Trump. But at Trump's level, he, you know, people are going to say it to him all the time. I don't know if he's got the the butthole ass sphincter power to hold it all in. He'll I mean, it, no, it really has loose. to ripple out, yeah, and that loose. thought yeah. is stressing me out a lot right now. That's a sharp situation mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. We should start tweeting at Trump, you farted, <laughs> see how he handles it. That's probably it why he so went bad. to the hospital, is he probably shit himself. <laughs> right. I, I'm and sure. They're just like, instead of going somewhere where anyone will find out, <laughs> let's pretend he has a medical <laughs> right. How is that story not leaked about anybody sh shitting themselves? We never hear those stories. I'm sure he did. People yeah, shit themselves? Today. All the time. All the time? Yeah. yeah. How come that doesn't make the news? Where's that TMZ video? I mean, it must sometimes. It must. Yeah. <laughs> you what is the last celebrity? <laughs> you can't always trust your farts. That's all I'm saying. I thought I was in a safe space. <laughs> oh, shit. I just had an idea. What? I got some pot topics. Yeah. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you forget? <laughs> No, oh. she, I mean, I felt I, like Alicia was having a perfectly good time just hanging out. Oh, yeah, she <laughs> didn't want to make me work. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I was like, I don't know who's going to say it first, but I guess I should. <laughs> um, Sorry, we're out of time, but... Uh, I feel like we are. I looked over right away. I guess we have at least No, we got time for a topic. Okay. Pot topics. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we will actually see you next time because we are going to break. That's what that hey, sign you said. you're not going to go to break. Oh, I decide when we go. <laughs> we don't have time to start this. Right, but we'll just take it out of the All next right. segment's time. Michigan. I do love talking about Michigan. I love it there. But they uh, are supposed to have legal recreational marijuana starting December Shit. 1st. Whoa. The problem is that more and more places are starting to ban dispensaries from opening. And so Detroit is now on that list of places that have decided to not have any dispensaries whatsoever. And so 79% of the state is now blocking that from happening, which is what? crazy. What? That's yeah. insane. Yeah. yeah, the people voted to legalize it. A state that needs tax money so city by city, badly, they're shutting it so down. Badly. Because they're afraid of what? Like, turning things around? Prosperity? Exactly. Restaurants being Happiness? Booming. This is Michigan's chance to dig themselves out of an insane hole that they've gotten into, yeah. and I, I am so I mean, it was so cool. by all of it. It was great yeah. how early Michigan was on board with medical. Yeah, surprisingly you know, early. Like the first real, like what I think of is the middle of the country. You know, even though it's not called the Midwest per se, it's oh, it's totally it's close. the Midwest. <laughs> it is close enough, I would right? Say so. No, it is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's wild. Like in Detroit, a place with so much uh, there's they have so many problems that mm -hmm. would like clear up something immediately it would like law enforcement wouldn't have they wouldn't have to spend any money on enforcing mm -hmm. marijuana laws and imprisoning people you know jails would be sorry children more in flint open. you don't need water cuz weed scares me a whole lot yeah. i know it's crazy it's so yeah, gross. the tax it's money so off of the weed could save their water situation i know it's really weird it's really weird how that sucks the conservative mindset is like, no we just have to go backwards we can't nothing get, we can't make things better yeah we got to start that would seeing be, that wouldn't be politically drug. expedient mm -hmm. to uh, make things better for these people it would absolutely <laughs> <Isn't> it <crazy? laughs> it's crazy it is yeah it sucks <laughs> i have time um, for another i hope so because uh, we need a, uh, a happy one i know yeah. sorry <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're all bummers, slipping guys. through all um, the setbacks <laughs> 
this one's short, but maybe kind of interesting. Neil Young has decided it's very important to him to vote in the U.S. 2020 election. But Neil Young is a Canadian citizen, so he's been working on getting his U.S. citizenship. Uh, he's now <laughs> claiming that it has been delayed because he admitted to them that he smoked weed. And as we all know, weed is a bad display of moral judgment. Yeah, as okay. As it's quoted on that paperwork. So uh, what? Yeah. Let's go into all these politicians' closets and see what they got. I guarantee Thank you guys got you. pills in the closets that your kids are <laughs> They're all to. fun uncles. Your wife's popping pills <laughs> but and you're in the Neil closet, Neil too. <laughs> but didn't Neil Young also try to get into the country on a horse with no name? <laughs> Isn't that yeah, what they say about cool. him? Didn't Neil Young also <laughs> we scissor? Him. What's her yeah. name from Splash? What? Daryl Hannah and Neil Young were scissoring. What does that mean? Scissor. Yeah. What is that? Is that? I know what it means. That's what you just called heterosexual sex? Yeah, it's love. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. Oh, okay. A man a and woman can scissor. No That's name. cool. Yep. <laughs> My mom stopped I'm reading down. his bio because apparently he cheated on his wife. My mom's like, "That's it. I'm not reading this book. It's <laughs> despicable." <laughs> she was pissed. Nancy was pissed. Neil Young, you pissed off Nancy. Come on. We gotta Come go to Nancy. a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Thank I'm you, Alicia. Thanks. <laughs> we'll be back with the Dab King after this. <laughs> Great analogy. Honestly, people, you admire somebody that's good at something, and he's good at stealing bread. That's true. Ooh. And singing at the same time. Yeah. Had a monkey friend. Ooh, that's false. Dodging swords. Um, yeah. Did someone fill this up? This guy. Oh, someone came and filled this up. That was nice. With regular. <laughs> <laughs> with regular like, no cocoa nut. <laughs> Not your slippery situation there. Yeah. It's slippery. It's like drinking um, Oil. surfboard wax. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Mm. Sex wax. No, I Sex want, wax. I always wanted to, like, you know, take a bite out of the, you know, surfboard wax. It just yeah. seems so tempting. And uh, th this smells like it. So it, it to me is like I finally get to drink surfboard wax. It does smell like, yeah. like beachy stuff. It does have that vibe. Are you going to decorate your beard this holiday season? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to put some garland in there. I should. Fun tinsel. Tinsel. Bows. Absolutely. Maybe hang a few. Uh, Ornaments from it. Oh, truck yeah, hats. that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> I hang those on my truck. Yeah. I feel like the the guy in the band with his trumpet waiting to do his solo. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna jam on this thing in a second. Yeah. Um, but let's. <laughs> Why are you gripping that? Like let's it's talk your about. I know, for real. <laughs> You won't let it go. So Hold it like an AK. I don't want to. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> it's, this is my baby now. You're so Tony Stark. I don't want to fuck up the glasses. <laughs> 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 you are the glasses. You are. I was also great in The Judge. <laughs> <laughs> You're Iron Man. And uh, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> 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 I can't think of any bowling movies King with Robert David. Downey Jr. Oh no, oh, it's gotta be Robert Downey Jr. That was the that was the right. <sighs> that was, that was what that was all about. Mm. Um, oh man, yeah, I wish <laughs> I'd hold good. up the duck if he was in Birdman. That would have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Taylor's here joining us now, joining Vanessa Gonzalez and Justin May Peluso, and myself in this basement with from Dr. Dabber. It's the switch, and it's uh, it's here to get you dabbed out. <laughs> it's here to get you dabbed out if you want. And this is always, I've found this perplexing, and now we can talk about it for a second. Uh, Jessa May. Yes, sir. What, I, I still don't get, you, with the amount of weed you smoke, why why do you go, ah, but no, I don't, I'm not gonna do the dabs. Don't you remember I told you one time I did a dab and I felt the earth fold under my feet and I thought I was a taco for like six hours? <laughs> Right, but like, you know. That wasn't fun. I do but, remember you saying you felt like a taco. Yeah. Right, but like like everything, the second time that, that happens to you, you'll you'll know, oh, I'm just going to feel like a taco for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, I got the burrito stuff today. Oh, this burrito? <laughs> this is the burrito Listen, version. Listen, unless it's a Baja Fresh chicken torta, I'm not putting my mouth <laughs> yeah. on it. I, uh, well, I think this is the torta version. Yeah, so. <laughs> torta. Torta. Like I said, the torta. Yeah. 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 Feel yeah, I'm like, like, I've probably heard that story from you numerous times yes. now that you mentioned it, but yes. uh, but I still will walk away wondering why, <laughs> because 
Uh, you know, I don't. I don't think it would be. You would have that bad of a reaction, especially if you had a small one. But, I think it's like uh, that thing when you get drunk off of something in high school and you have an inversion for years. Yeah. You just are so afraid to go back into that territory. Mm. But once one you day, do, maybe I will. It's usually okay. One day I will. Maybe. Children, time. this is what peer pressure looks <laughs> yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> when I got when I got my wisdom teeth <laughs> took out, uh, they um, I got uh, peanut butter yogurt. Uh, that, that I liked at the time. Oh, Oof. yeah. That sounds you know, terrible. You know, one of those frozen yogurt things, but it's supposed to be peanut butter. It just tastes like some weird synthetic uh, uh, in, chemical in between. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's still, you know, still tasty, uh, nonetheless. And uh, but yeah, I threw up some of that. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> How, what happened with your kidney stones? Oh, no, nobody knows. <laughs> 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 we were supposed to name them. I'm chalking it. I'm chalking oh it up to you gosh. know, good old constant <laughs> smoking of marijuana good. that has made me well again. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad. I don't know what. Nobody knows what happened. That's brutal. That mm. pain is excruciating. Mm. Yeah, people think people think there's a rather large stone in there, but there was no moment where I where I felt it pass, but it's also not there anymore. Maybe it just mm. stayed and it became like a teeny Mount Rushmore in there. <laughs> it might it might just be part of my world from now on. Like, yeah, it absolutely. It might just be like, you know, lining the, the walls <laughs> of some, some organ. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, who knows what, uh, but they, they found other things to be curious. You know, they were more curious about things that I wasn't there for. Like what? Well, like my blood pressure was pretty bad, but I think part of my reason my blood pressure was bad when I went into the hospital is because I had a kidney stone. Yeah, and I was, yeah, like, and yeah, I was, and I was sitting around in the hospital stressed. waiting to be seen. So when they when they get around to testing your blood pressure, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a shard in my urethra, bro. Yeah. I'm a little stressed. Yeah, get off my back. Oh, God. You're not cool as a cucumber. Got shrapnel on my ass. Yeah, I'm, I, my blood pressure's not yeah. so healthy right now. But the but the thing they say about passing a stone is like for men is like a woman giving birth. That's nonsense. Mm -mm. There's no way. A, a, if a man said that, a stone that. granted a stone and a, and a pee hole are it is that's quite a thing. That's like <laughs> that's a, certainly yeah. going to be painful. It wasn't in my case. Didn't even notice it happening. <laughs> but you have a wide urethra. I really do. Man. <laughs> People. <laughs> They're playing at Coachella people next bring, year. People say that to me all the time when, because uh, when I'm in a public urinal, I, there's a lot of splashback. Because <laughs> so, of my super lie. wide, super wide ureter. Well, how could anybody make that judgment? Because the, if a man is experiencing it, only a man can describe the pain. Because a man can't equate it to giving birth because that's physically impossible. Right, but I can from uh, from a mat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. the, the point is that when the when it shoots out of your pee hole, <gasps> it comes out really fast and it just hurts for like a second. Like, yeah, it's extremely brief. It's the passage uh, from. There's no the, crowning point. It's getting <laughs> it from, just gets yeah, out and of then there. You, get, you don't have to raise it for eighteen years <laughs> yeah, exactly. afterwards either. Yeah, so, you're done with you're it. You're not responsible <laughs> for if your your kidney stone's a fucking asshole. That's a lot different. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, it's the journey there that the when the person's saying the kid passing a kidney stone is very painful, it's the journey through the ureter is the part where you're in a great deal of pain and the only the only things you can do are take pain medication and uh, the other thing everybody says is uh, Oh, drink a lot of water too. Right. But also uh, jump up and down. Uh, is literally what they say. They to told do. me to do that if you didn't want to get pregnant after sex. <laughs> <laughs> so it's similar to that. After scissoring. <laughs> no, no, no. I think Love. Uncle Fun said jump up and down if you want sex. <laughs> 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 if Uncle you want to have Uncle some fun. fun. <laughs> That's his DJ name. Uncle Fun. <laughs> He changed his name. It's a totally I was trying person. to. I don't want. You know, these. They gave. We have this product. We're trying to help him move some <laughs> units. I, I changed Uncle the name for the. It's fun, Uncle. Uncle Fun. Fun Uncle is so much better than Uncle Fun. Uncle Fun sounds like somebody you hire for your kids' party. Yeah. You're like, oh God. Who's this guy? Oh, no. Uncle. Oh, no. Who, who ordered Uncle Fun? We'll run a budget this year, Timmy. We couldn't afford a clown, but Uncle Fun. He has a bunch of lumps on his chest. He keeps asking us to sit on his lap. Is this show over yet? Uncle Fun. <laughs>
I tell you, it's almost, should be almost over. I got to do the fucking plugs. Hang on a second. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I definitely peed a little. I love that. Oh, nice. I love my new toy. Um, <laughs> ladies, you deserve some plugs for being here. Do you, so nobody wants to dab? No. No. I'm scared. You're a pro, Crow. And I'm not. And if you're not going to do it, I'm not going to do I it. I like my butt. I like my flower. Solidarity. Your idea. butt yeah. comes out. <laughs> yes. I get a prolapse anus every time I, every time I dab. No, thanks. <laughs> I wouldn't do it either. <laughs> it's no fun for anybody. Uh, <laughs> mine doesn't prolapse. Mine amateur lapse. <laughs> Vanessa Gonzalez yeah. is going to be... Oh, it's already on here. I, I made two cards for this because I wanted to make sure we mentioned this. Yeah. You're part of the uh, of Doug Benson's New Year's Eve comedy parade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a whole in, parade. Uh, in Austin, Texas yeah. at Cap City Comedy on New Year's yeah. Eve. We did it last year and it was so much fun. It was very fun. That we're doing it again along with a bunch of other... Uh, mm. Austin, uh, legendary Austin comics. You got a new album coming out, your first yeah, album. Yeah, first album early next year. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out. That's awesome. And then how do you say your Instagram name? Vanessa Marie. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like Vanessa spelled with a B U H, yeah. like it's all wrong, and yeah. then Marie. Yeah. <laughs> Just spell it wrong and then Marie. And then the website is <laughs> vanessacomedy.com. Yeah. Yep, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. See, there's another card about New Year's Eve, so I'll say it again Austin, Texas, New Year's Eve. Comedy parade. It's Doug Benson's comedy parade, but it all takes place indoors. Yeah. <laughs> And there's no parade. It's it's not, well, there's a series of comedians will walk up on stage and off the stage. Right. So it's an extremely slow moving parade. We it's all like if like each float stopped and did 10 minutes on their sex life. I just imagine you guys like on a parade float and you're doing, yeah. all doing your sets simultaneously the through the street. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. I, I kind of like that idea. Oh. Everyone has a microphone. It doesn't smell like vomit. <laughs> Why does your card only say Sharp Tongue Podcast? I don't know. Have you retired from all other aspects? That's, it. that's of all I'm doing. <laughs> that's, that's, but that's all your big I'm doing. push right now, is yeah. that? Well, mm -hmm. the only other thing I was going to say was to donate to Hilarity for Charity this holiday season. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's a good org. Yeah. Yes. Good org. Great org. Um... Our next show will be a pre-tape that we're going to do next. Oh, I should do a dab, right? I should yeah. Dab. That's right. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, it'll be a week from today, November 26th at 12, 15 Pacific time. That's where you can get it. Unless you're a Patreon member, then you can get it a uh, day early. Here we go. What's the color do? Is it a moon thing? Uh, red yeah, means it's heating up. I'm really angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Dang. Oh, it's like lights. I got it. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a fun uncle. He's so oh, fun. I like it. <laughs> He's so fun. Uh, he really is. Damn it. We got 30 seconds. Yes. Oh, anything boy. else? Anything anybody want to add, wants to add? Um. Have a happy holiday season. Yes, yes. happy holiday, holiday season. Holiday. Smoke your menorah. Get your family oh high God. so they don't argue on Thanksgiving. Look. I did that last year. It worked. Oh, I that's just took nice. eight crazy hits. <laughs> <laughs> your emotional support. Eight Paul. crazy lights. Yeah. I wanted to take a picture of us. I saw a church with a high holiday sign on today. That, that always makes me laugh. Oh, that's perfect. Um. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>